Hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1950 Swedish drama Girl with Hyacinths, or Flika Usch Hyacinter. This is directed by Hasse Ekman. Ekman was a Swedish director back in the 40s through 60s. Apparently he was highly influenced by Orson Welles, and this movie takes direct inspiration from Citizen Kane. It is about a man investigating a neighbor's life following a suicide, so big Citizen Kane vibes. That That's about enough for me, usually. That, that, that pushes enough of my buttons to get me interested. So yeah, and before we begin, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. I have Patreon if you're interested. Leave a comment down below. What's the best movie you've seen in theaters lately? I saw both In the Mood for Love and Lawrence of Arabia in theaters this summer. Two of my favorite movies. I think Lawrence was the best movie with the worst audience. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but for now, let's watch Hasse Ekman's Girl with the Hyacinths. Terror film. Flika Osh. Flika Osh. Hyacinther. Another Nami. Mind your own business, brother. What's that supposed to mean? Wow, she's gorgeous. Love the androgynous look. Isn't this a lovely day to be caught in the rain? <laughs> Remember that time I said that that song wouldn't, wasn't that catchy, and now it's the only thing that I sing? Is she contemplating suicide? Is this how Laurent starts to? I like just watched Laurent a month or two ago, and it also starts like overseeing a bridge. She has a very triangular face. Or rectangular, or trapezoidal. Okay, so is this gonna be the titular character, the one who perhaps commits suicide? And what may be the driving force behind it? I'm like, obsessed by how dark black and white films choose to go sometimes. Because they always know because black and white is a uh, medium of contrast. They, they always know how to give specific highlights to give um, shape to an image. In contrast to certain low contrast, low saturation films that may be a la mode these days. I see they were doing Chinese streets back in the 50s as well, or the late 40s. Them and uh, Janusz Kaminski. Vas? Okay. A little bit worrying, but maybe it's boilerplate. It's a classic. Mm. 
won't deny that she went with all the hits in that suicide note. Oh, wow. Okay. Once again, playing with the mundanity, the suicide note is belaying an incredible sadness or despair, but in a very kind of casual way and almost almost in a dismissive way so that you can get to the particulars, the, the information about like the, the bank account and stuff. <laughs> Because she hung herself there, hanged herself there. I'm not going to lie, this is a bit dour for me. The, um, especially the interplay between the banality and the kind of like pall of the suicide there's such a mix of like everyday commonplace things and this really terrible depressing act I am she. <laughs> yeah, I have to imagine this is um, fashioned in some sort of uh, zeitgeist of, of cynicism and morbidity in Sweden at the time. Yeah, you seem like you did. But why is he going so far out of the way for this neighbor? And why is that? Why is that 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 one piece lit? Yeah, I can imagine. This is not the most pleasant portrait made out of this woman's life. Oi, oi, oi. It's a powerful response, I gotta say. Yeah, this is an intensely uh, sad portrait that they're painting of this woman's life, of Dagmar Brink's life, that she's in huge financial debt, not sure about what, well, I don't really know how much 5,000 crowns is, but let's assume that it's a large amount. Her mother's passed away, her only kind of connection to the world. She's trying to breach this relationship with her potential father, a strange father, but it's only for a monetary transaction, and he responds in kind with with cynicism and dismissiveness. Yeah, 
med en dam av er egen klass. Olyckligtvis så är det daterat. Utpressning är straffbart, fru Brink. En skandal vore obehagligare för er än för mig. I am a bit surprised. I know this is also like a um, a contrivance, a, st a story artifice, but the idea that this banker would admit all of this to to um, uh, to to Anders to Anders Vilker is a little bit strange. <laughs> nice people. Nice people. I'm already like so depressed. Citizen Kane has like an epic sense of tragedy to it. It's like the rise and fall of a of a statesman, of a, of a man of quality and whatever. But like the surrounding miasma of this girl's life, of this woman's life, seems so seems so helpless. <laughs> what was going on in Sweden during this time? <laughs> Okay. Um, Dagmar's being a little bit like me at a party. She paying her debt. Okay, did she get married? Did she have a fiance who left her or who died? People just don't know what's going on in this lady's life. Of course you are. <laughs> okay, is she a, is she a sex worker? I mean, she's an actress. Okay, is that from... Is that from... Um, Dagmar? I don't know if Dagmar got the full 5,000 or just the 1,000 from the banker. Eight years is a long time. Wow. People be having affairs for eight years? Was that... I, I don't know what that name is. Well, that happens sometimes. And you certainly are. This is also another thing that is like working within the contrivance and wouldn't make sense in real life. Her noticing the signature on the uh, the banknote that Gullen got. Um, obviously, Gullen wouldn't remember that. Anders? Oh yeah, and there's no way that Gullen would have remembered that she was hiding her engagement or wedding ring. What? What does this mean? Why do? Why is everybody saying this? If you can identify that sort of thing. I understand you can't do anything about it, but why weren't people making an effort to do a little bit more about it? 
Det är underligt att tänka sig att hon fortfarande kunde ha varit i livet. Och vi två gifte om jag inte hade öppnat det där brevet. So many letters in this movie. It's like I'm watching Pride and Prejudice. Det var ett kärleksbrev från en kar som heter Alex. Och det framgick med alla önskar tydlighet att de hade älskat varann. Och att han i varje fall fortfarande gjorde det. There's no way. There's no way this goes down the accidental incest storyline. But if it does, hey, hey, hey. Då tyskarna drog in i Paris var staden skator folktomma. De flesta av de fransmän som stannat kvar höll sig... Oh no, she's worried about Alex. Fönsterluckor och rullgardiner hade dragits ned och dödlig stillhet... Vad gör du? Jag vill inte höra mer. It is appalling. That's the word I was looking for. This movie is just, like, a little appalling. Jag tycker de är vidriga. Förbannat duktiga militärer i alla fall. Oh wow, I didn't know we were going to have this conversation. Just as an officer, oh god, he sounds like a, he sounds like an American. Hon skulle ha förlåtit mig om jag hade sagt att jag hade bedragit henne. Men aldrig om hon hade fått reda på att jag hade öppnat ett av hennes brev. Yeah, I mean that is an incredible invasion of privacy, but you know, whatever. Different time. Men det hjälpte inte. Jag kunde inte glömma bort det. Jag kunde inte glömma att hon hade ljugit för mig. So, like, this is a running theory that I have, but this, the television series Lost, the television series Heroes, uh, the underlying theme is communication is key. Oh, so you've known her the longest, or saw her the earliest. Really? You should see an alcoholic. I can't believe how much everybody's drinking in this movie. I think, like, one character has had mineral water this entire time, and that was, that was Dagmar? Isn't it a lovely... His nails, the state of his nails. Dying of secondhand embarrassment. Yeah, okay, so that was a production detail. The poet that was referenced in the first scene? He's a salesman, I'll give him that. This actor is managing the del managing the delicate balance of fig. <laughs> Absolutely repulsive and strangely charming as an alcoholic. I gotta give it to him. A strange, intoxicating mix of firmly repulsive and quizzically attractive. I look sad. That's good. That's the mark of a good an artist. Mm. 
aldrig ska bli verklighet. If this is flirting. Är det inte värt? Vad roligt att stå så här och se till Isn't it a lovely day to be caught in the rain? Var du mycket ensam som barn? The key is communication. Det var jag också. He's fucking getting it done. God damn it! I can't believe how big his apartment is. He can't be Alex, can he? Is Alex like a pseudonym that she was writing to him? How is this always a couple? The, the dirt poor bastard and the loving, caring abuse woman. How is this always the couple? She's gonna get money from her dad. Because they met in 45 and they've been going around for a year, so this is 46. Okay, 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 okay. 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 But she's running to Paris, and the sanitarium that he's going to is in Switzerland. Maybe they move locations. Okay, but the money that Gullen gets is connected to her somehow. Uh, was was the person that Gullen was having the affair with just the the banker? Because he's the only other old guy that I know that I I remember in this. The Phantom Carriage. Because he can't make art while he's in a relationship. He was too comfortable. Oh, yeah, 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 that's when they broke up. That makes sense. I can't believe this douchebag is at the center of all the mysteries in this girl's life. <laughs> of course, as it always as it always was, as it always is, as it will always be. Tell me the secret. How do good women manage to find such bad men? Like radar, laser sighted. Maybe it's just like a trope of, of fiction. Seems to happen a lot in your 20s though. Det är ett par tofflor 
I do want to credit this actor. He's playing this role brilliantly. I can't believe how how much he's getting me to like and dislike him over and over again. Elias Kuhner, played by Anders Ek. Yeah, okay. Why are you doing this? Just, I just never want to be in a relationship like this. And I can't begin to comprehend what it feels like for people who are. Like, when you find the right partner or the wrong partner, and it doesn't work out, they can close you off entirely from your own life. <laughs> With connection to what? Just an orgy of evidence that this guy's a bastard. In true kind of uh, Game of Thrones succession, we need to have uh, a bigger heel than the previous one. That's her. That's 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 her kink word. This movie is actually very instructional on a lot of male flirting tactics. Is there anything really wrong with me? But why? <laughs> I who never drive girls home. Brilliant line. Very good. 
Nu mai putea gândi de așa, Andrei. O mantă și are, n-a trecut. E ură. Dar eu stiu mă. Scoli, vii, s-a zis să-ți mulți unde? Da, mă duc de... Păi, te tala unde aia, fenom. În fapt, nu mă... Ursaken til at tage meg bring tog livet av seg. Det var derfor at hun var ulykkelig kjær i meg. Nei, var du snella, Willi. Jo, må vi ikke prøve. I mean, that's a theory. Når hun gjorde det, så ringte en kompis til meg. Han hadde fått tak på to alderes ferske skolper og satt med dem nede på Adlons bar. Og jeg størtet dit forstås, for den ene var rødhålig. Ja, at tage meg spillet der nede, det gjorde jo ikke meg noen ting. Bønene var snygge, det var to svensker som just hadde kommet hjem fra utlandet. Vi satt der et par timer, petet i oss en hel del. Når Dagmar var ferdig på kvelden, så ropet han der rødhåriga skorpan på henne for å vise seg at de var gamle skolkamerater. Og sen fortsatte vi allihopa hjem til meg. Oh, her vi er igjen. Det var ferdig. Det var ikke så farlig. Nei, jeg klarer meg rett bra. Du vet, jeg har jo alltid vært skapelig tyske. Mener du at du arbeidet for dem? Takker for det. Annars hade man haft ett helvete. Wow. Ja, det är så förbannat enkelt att se en kvinna rynka på näsan och tala om att det är tyskar. Det är som jag alltid tyckt bra om tyskar. Vad arbetade du med? Det var både det ena och det andra. Inte skulle det passa dina rena små fingrar, det försäkrar jag dig. Men ser du, när man lever mitt i skiten så... What is this movie heading towards? I'm getting nervous now. Was she like, uh... Did she aid the Germans? Is that what's being suggested here? Because her husband was sympathetic to them? Mind your own business, brother. Isn't it a lovely day to be caught in the rain? They do not look like they went to school together. I love that look on her. That's weird. Having sex with a man to prove a point to your friend is a bit weird. I'll never get the politics of female inter of female friendship. It is unfathomable. What is the real root of this story? Who is Alex? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> no, this can't be the end. There was also lösning på gåtan Dagmar Brink. Stacka Sanders. Du är så besviken. Ja, vet du vad det är verkligen. Jag önskar jag aldrig hade börjat rota henne i stort. I mean, that's true. You shouldn't have. Jag är aldrig riktigt klok på människor. Men ofta det solutionerar. This is such an uh, overwhelming itch. I doubt it's going to end this way, but the, the frustration I'm sitting in right now with this ending, this false ending. Who's Alex? Who's Alex? Alex? Her name's Alex. Her name's Alex. 
Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Her name is Alex. Alex. I. <laughs> Again, I mistake female friendship. I mistake something else as female friendship. Men den dagen kanske också kommer. Och då vill jag inte vara med längre. Ja, fick du reda på vad hette? Nej. Nej, han hade glömt bort det. <laughs> I don't know if you felt the same way, but... There's a, there was a part of me that had an inkling the entire way and just wouldn't admit it. That seems easy to say in retrospect, but I'm curious to know if you had an inkling as well. I don't know. It's fine for 1950, I guess. I guess. Well, I've been afraid of changing, cause I built my life around you. I <laughs> the movie's fine. It's fine. I think the el the ending elevated it a bit, but not like all the way to transcendental. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Yeah, let me know. If you have a favorite surprise lesbian movie. <laughs> and until next time, keep watching good movies. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I, hmm.